Another concept related to creditors turnover ratio is average payment period. Now students, just like debtors collection period, this ratio gives us an indication of the number of days or months in which on average basis we are making the payment to our creditors. So, it can be calculated as number of days or months divided by creditors turnover ratio. So, in case we are required to calculate in number of days, we will write it at 365 for non leap years and for months we can write 12 here upon creditors turnover ratio. So, it becomes very clear that for calculating the, the period in which we are making the payment to creditors, first of all we are required to calculate creditors turnover ratio. Let us understand this whole concept by taking an example. 